Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be talking about some of the RV accessories that we have that we love that are for the interior of the RV. They range from cooking accessories to pest management. So a quick background about our RV life is that we purchased our 2023 Airstream Flying Cloud. We purchased it in the summer and we started living in it full time in September. We went on our first big trip to South Dakota and North Dakota and it was amazing. We loved it so much. So after that first trip, we came back to Ohio and updated a few things that we had in our RV. And then we did another trip to Florida up to South Carolina and North Carolina to see the fall leaves in Asheville. And we spent some time in Tennessee and then we went back to Ohio for the winter. And then now we've been in Florida for six weeks snowboarding. So it's been really nice to be in the sun and I feel like I actually have like a tan and stuff. It's just been great. So after our next like week here, we're going back to Ohio again for a few weeks in March. And then we're gonna set off on our actual adventure. So we're starting in Texas first and then we're gonna end up going to Las Vegas, I think and then up the California coast to the national parks there, up to the Pacific Northwest, because we haven't been to those parks at all. And then we're going to end it with the new national parks that we're going to see in Yellowstone and the Grand Tetons. We haven't been there yet. And then I don't know what's going to happen, but we do know for the winter, we're definitely coming back down to Florida because we've just loved it so much. But anyways, with all that traveling, we have accumulated some of our favorite interior RV accessories and we wanted to share that with you guys. So the first item that we're gonna talk about is something that every single person that owns an RV or lives in a van or even lives in their car should have inside. And that is some moisture absorbers. Sorry, that's a little loud. These moisture absorbers are so important. It gets really humid and gross inside anything that's not really a proper house. So it's important to have something like this to get the moisture out of the air so things don't start to mold. We really prefer these Back Plus bags because you can just throw them anywhere you want around the RV and they keep the moisture inside of it and it's not gonna like leak out. And then once they're full, you just cut the slit and pour it down the drain. And then these are more common, I think, the dampered like little containers. We were using these at first and I do like them, but they are open at the top so they can just like spill easily. Either the beads spill, the water spills out. So we really prefer something like this. But this is sadly discontinued, so we have to find a new type to get because we're running low on these already because Florida has been so humid. Another thing that if you maybe have a larger RV than us, you can get a proper plug-in electric dehumidifier and then you can just empty out the water container whenever it's full. We don't really want to use that just because we're kind of limited on space in our Airstream and that's a pretty bulky item to have when these things work just fine. So you might be wondering, where am I even supposed to put these? The number one place that you need to put damp ridden type item is under your bed. When we sleep, we generate a bunch of heat and it gets really stuffy underneath there and the most common place that mold occurs is underneath your bed on your mattress. So we have um, storage underneath our bed that lifts up so we can just place one underneath there with like our clothes and stuff that's underneath there and then just shut it. And we just check on it every few weeks to make sure it's not full of water. We also have a few just lying around. We usually have one here where I'm sitting and maybe over by the kitchen. And then we also try to put them in the closets because they get pretty stuffy in there and that's a pretty common place to have a lot of moisture. They actually make some that are more similar to this where they have a little clip and you can just hook it in in between your clothes. So that's a really good option for that area. Also, if you find yourself waking up in the morning and the RV windows are covered in water that's on the inside, it might be a good idea to have cracked open of one of your air fan vents or crack a window just slightly because that helps the moisture levels reduce in the RV overnight. So yeah, this is the number one thing that you need to have in your RV. So purchase these now. <laughs> the next item that we recommend is cooking related and it is these pots and pans that come with the detachable handle. So regular pots and pans that come with the handle attached, they are just so bulky and hard to store. And this, like as you can see, they just sit really nicely with each other. And then this can just sit right there in the cabinet. It's, it's been so nice. These ones specifically are Red Chef. They're from Amazon and they are the ceramic coated ones. We didn't really want to get nonstick just because of like 
that we know that they're forever chemicals now. And I also have seen on Instagram that people have these in stainless steel. So that would be probably be the best option. Really like these, they work really well. And you can just, I'll show you, you can just attach it to the pot and then detach. But yeah, we like these a lot. Um, before we had two other like normal size pans and they just were so bulky and stuff. The only other stovetop cooking item that we have is a cast iron skillet. Sticking to the cooking theme, we also got these magnetic spice holders. So they're magnetic at the bottom and they we have them stored on our range hood. They've been working really great. What we like most about these specifically is that they have the little like sprinkle pour and the dump option. And then you can also just take the lid off. We really like these. They come in a six pack on Amazon. We actually bought another six of them. We have yet to fill up our spices because I just have been avoiding that. The only thing is we really need to label these because it's hard to tell what's what. Specifically the difference between our season salt and our Old Bay. They look so similar. You have to like grab all of them to find what you're looking for. But yeah, the only thing is you can't store them when you're driving like this way. You have to make sure that they're this way. We accidentally left them like this and Old Bay went everywhere. It was a disaster. So relating to our spice accident, we are so thankful that we had our Milwaukee vacuum cleaner. We don't have a battery in it right now, but if this works, amazing. We previously had a little tiny vacuum cleaner that I got from Marshalls and it just like it literally broke the first day. It's just not worth it. It wasn't suction power was not enough. It just wasn't that great. But this is incredible. Everything stores right in this little container. It comes with obviously the actual vacuum and then it has two long poles that when connected to the vacuum it's like a normal length of a vacuum so you don't have to like bend over to vacuum the floor and then it comes with this like noodly looking one and it has the normal like floor vacuum and then a uh angled to get the corners my only really complaint is that this like it's kind of hard to move on the floor because it's not a traditional vacuum cleaner but it still does vacuum up pretty well it just kind of like sucks down to the floor a little too hard the only downside is you have to get batteries and these are ridiculously expensive but all of our tools are milwaukee so it just made sense to get the milwaukee vacuum if you live in a bigger rv it might make more sense to get a traditional vacuum cleaner i would just recommend it being cordless probably but there's like the dyson ones or i'm sure there's some really good amazon options this beats using a broom to clean up all the dirt and we just love how little space it takes up. This fits perfectly in our closet. This next item is one of my favorites. I would have this if I lived in my apartment or a house because it works that great. And it is the Zevo bug catcher. So it just plugs into the wall and it emits a blue light. And you have these uh, sticky backs that the bugs fly into and get stuck. I will show you what we've caught since... Um, staying in florida look at all that it is insane bugs are gonna fly into your rv even just walking in and out if you keep the door shut but especially if you go out at night all the bugs are gonna fly in because the lights are on it really stops me from having so many mosquito bites and having pests flying everywhere it works best at night when you're sleeping and all the other lights are turned off so they all attract to that blue light i've seen this get bugs throughout the day too it is amazing and you can just buy these things by the replaceable packs for these. And yeah, we just keep it going until it's like super, super full and then just toss this. It is amazing. It works so well and it beats using a fly swatter and like trying to kill them all. This next item is our most recent purchase and it is an electric space heater. So the cost of propane is a lot and we were blowing through it at night when we would have to turn on the heater. A lot of people recommended that we get a space heater instead. So I shopped around on Amazon and chose this one. And when it arrived, I unboxed it. I was like, I don't know if this is going to even work. Like I highly doubt it's going to heat up our whole RV, but it does. We keep it in this area at night and then we just face it this way and it has a oscillating setting and it keeps it at like 
low 70s and it's been getting down to like the 40s at night but I'm sure if it was even colder we could just place it closer to the bedroom and it keep that space even hotter so I'm very happy with this and relating this back to the moisture problems in an RV propane heat I guess carries more uh, moisture in the air so we were waking up with a lot of moisture on the windows but with this now that's reduced significantly and most campsites that we stay at the electricity and water that's in like the per day cost so we try to use electric as much as possible and so we just reduced our cost of living by quite a bit because we were having to refill our propane oh like once or twice a month usually but we still use propane to heat our water because that's the way that our water heater works also uh when boondocking we'll probably still use the propane heater just because our electricity is limited and also i don't know what the wattage is on this but we can't use anything on our inverter over a thousand watts but this is great for camping at campsites which we do most of the time so this last item is kind of a bonus item because we store it inside but we use it outside it's another cooking item we try to cook everything that we can outside, especially our like meats, because we want to get a really good sear on them. And if you forget to turn on our exhaust fan for like more than five minutes of cooking, our smoke alarm goes off and it's horrifically loud and scary. And I hate it when it happens, but it happens to me probably once every two weeks. Anyways, the item that I'm talking about is an electric cooktop. So I got this back when we lived in an apartment. And I was like, oh, maybe we should just bring this with us camping because we have an outlet outside and a table. So we just hook it up with the outlet and turn it on. And it really heats up our pans evenly, more even than our propane stovetop because of like the wind. The wind will blow the flame out a bit and move the flame. But this obviously stays nice and evenly heated. So yeah, we really like this. And again, back to like we opt for electricity items as much as possible. This is just another way to reduce our propane usage and not have to pay for uh, electricity when we're at campsites. We usually put our cast iron skillet on it and crank this up and really sear our meats well, especially like steaks. We love using this for steak and chicken thighs, anything that we wanna get a really good sear on. So that's all the items I had for this video. Uh, comment down below any other interior accessory items that you love having in your RV so we can all share that information. Most of these items are on Amazon, so I will link my Amazon affiliate links of them down below. If you click on the link and make a purchase, I will make a small commission from it at no cost to you, so we would really appreciate that. Please give this video a like if you really enjoyed it so I know to make another one. We can do exterior accessories, we can do more interior accessories that I like having. Just let me know down below and thanks for watching the whole video if you did. Bye!